Mr. Speaker, uh, my question is to the Premier, and I appreciate the Premier taking this question. Uh, Mr. Speaker, in June of this year, the House unanimous, unanimously approved my private member's resolution asking for the immediate release of planning grants for the hospital redevelopments in Collingwood and Alliston. It's now been more than six months since my resolution was passed, and nothing has happened. No approvals have been given by this government. So, Mr. Speaker, to the Premier, when will this government follow through and release the money to allow these critically important projects to move forward to the next stages of planning? Thank you. Thank you very much, Mr. Speaker. And I know the Minister of Health and Long-Term Care is going to want to uh, to speak to uh, to the specifics of this uh, of this question, Mr. Speaker. But um, as I understand it, there is a conversation that's ongoing with the uh, with the ministry about uh, about the uh, the go forward and the next steps, Mr. Speaker. And I look forward to uh, I look forward to us working with the communities to make sure that uh, to make sure that these uh, that these plans can move forward, Mr. Speaker. But I know, as I said, the the Minister of Health and Long-Term Care will want to give the member the specifics. Thank you. Supplementary. Well, thank you, and uh, back to the uh, back to the Premier. And I, I appreciate. Uh, I'd like to hear from the from the minister because this has been going on, you know, for quite a long time—a couple of years now, three years now. Um, the House did pass. The Parliament has spoken six months ago. The, both hospitals have spent well over a million and a half dollars of their own frontline health care money. To do the planning so far, the minister's been good. The Lynn's been good to encourage us to keep moving forward, but you haven't flown any money, and it could be up to $12 million each to get through the five planning stages of the hospital. It's going to take years. We understand that, and we'd like to get on with the work. So I'd like to hear from the minister. Thank you. Minister of Health and Long-Term Care. Minister of Health, Long-Term Care. Well, thank you, and I appreciate the question. And. Uh, um, so the ministry is working closely with the Lynn as well as with the hospital involved. Uh, the member opposite has been a strong advocate for this hospital and others uh, in and around his riding. Uh, the uh, ministry is currently uh, reviewing planning grants. Uh, we anticipate that a decision will be taken very soon. Uh, and uh, I think we're all anxious to see some progress uh, uh, with regards to this hospital. Uh, and uh, I would be happy to, uh, if the member opposite wanted to uh, meet with ministry officials to get a better sense of where things are at, I'd be happy to arrange that. 